So in preparation to set up my NAS and the fast array of 7200 RPM drives that I'm going to store uh, my media and my Final Cut Pro stuff on, uh, I started buying a couple drives because I, I wanted uh, to expand the storage since I had space in the new case. So I had two Western Digital 4TB SE series drives. Now these are one notch below the RE series, which I think has been rebranded gold now. And they're basically server drives and they're pretty much exactly the same as the RE, but cheaper. So I actually really like these drives, although they're not very popular. So it's kind of hard to get them at a good price, but um, my plan was to purchase a third drive uh, before I expanded to six drives, but I just wanted a third drive. So I purchased a refurbished one, the exact same model. Everything's everything's uh, exactly the same. So uh, I purchased it and then I waited and waited. I bought it on eBay. I waited and waited and it didn't ship and it was like a week. So I looked on the eBay listing and the listing said this may take up to 10 days to ship, which I thought was a little weird. Uh, it was a recertified drive, meaning it's a refurbished drive from uh, Western Digital. In fact, uh, part of the array is going to consist of this Western Digital black recertified drive, which is one of mine. I bought this a while ago. I had to send it in. I can't remember why. Uh, I think it had a bad block or two and they swapped it out. Anyway, uh, it'll also consist of this RE series uh, Western Digital from uh, the iBoss server, which also included the motherboard for the NAS. But anyway, so I ordered this SE drive and when it finally shipped, it said I was getting a delivery from Western Digital, which I thought was a little odd. So a box arrived from Western Digital. What I realized the guy on eBay was doing was actually sending in a broken drive and then telling Western Digital to ship it to me, the replacement. So he knew he's sending in a Western Digital 4 terabyte SE and he would get the same thing or better back. And that's why I put that it was a refurbished drive. So uh, the thing with warranties from pretty much anyone, at least in North America, is that you have to replace it with an item of equal or better value. Now the SEs are pretty reliable from my experience and from what I've read. So they don't really break that often. So I don't think they had too many available. So they actually sent me a Western Digital Gold series, which is, uh, I believe it's functionally equivalent of an RE. They're, they're high-end server drives, uh, the enterprise ones, with the exception of it having a larger cache as 128 megs of cache. All of these drives have 64. It shouldn't really matter. Um, this one is actually a brand new drive. It's not refurbished at all. So I purchased for only like 80 bucks a supposedly refurbished SE series and I got a better one, which is also brand new. So I went, well, um, I was reading up and I decided I would like a striped mirror. So I would need a sixth drive. So I ordered from a totally different seller. Now the guy who sold this had like a thousand feedback. So it was a, you know, a well-established seller. And I saw a Western Digital Pro, uh, Red Pro, which is a 7200 RPM version of the Red series, which I really like. I have uh, eight of those drives. So this is a four terabyte uh, Western Digital Red Pro, which is um, pretty much exactly the same as all of these, except it also has 128 megs of cache. And, you know, they're not rated as highly as the Enterprise drives. Uh, this is just a black series. This isn't an Enterprise level drive. But these ones are considered to be, you know, very high reliability, blah, 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 blah. Again, I purchased this thing. It was around 75 bucks or whatever. And I put in, you know, I read that it was a refur refurbished drive. And again, it ships from Western Digital. And this guy only had like three feedbacks. So this was like a brand new user account, which is why I was thinking it was some kind of scam because usually when something's really weird, it happens on uh, new accounts and there's questionable stuff going on. But I figured what the hell, Western um, eBay will protect me on this. So anyway, it arrives brand new. It's not a re recertified drive, uh, unlike the one I got back, the black. So, um, yeah, it seems like it 
a lot of people are onto this thing where they're just buying uh, or sending in broken drives and getting them sent to new people when they buy them. I, I just, I don't know. There's something about it which seems like there's there's some kind of uh, dodgy business going on. Um, it, as far as I remember, Western Digital does provide you with a shipping label. So it's possible they're just using this to save money and you know pass that savings on to uh, the, the purchaser because uh, you send in the broken drive for free and they mail the new drive for free to the new customer. So, I mean, at least you're saving on shipping and that could account for a few bucks of savings. But I, it, it, I don't know. It's like I said, it seems kind of dodgy to me. I did end up with both drives and they work. So I guess you can't argue with that, but it seems like this is some kind of uh, weird business practice. I wonder if they're not really trying to scam like you or I, the, the purchaser, but it, it may be that they're getting the broken drives through some weird means and they want to essentially like launder the drive and just disappear it by giving it back to, to Western Digital. Uh, maybe they work at a server uh, a data center or something and they're taking all the broken drives and, and doing it on the, on the side or something. I don't know. But either way, uh, it seems viable, at least for now.